Welcome to day 1147 of our video diary, which today we'll be eating the gumdrops that we've been collecting over the years. Yeah. And that's right. And personally, I'm going to start with my favorite color. That way, Ruby, let me look at the camera. Ruby, you forgot to remove the lens cap this time. How can I trust you to be my camera gem when you mess up simple things like this? Uh, I don't know what a lens cap is, but I'm sorry. Ruby, a lens cap. Is this circle thing in front of the camera you have to remove before recording? Oh, oh my bubble blower, I'm gonna eat this green dump job. It's I'm falling on the ground and I'm pretty sure it's so bad. Oh. Hey, uh, Ruby, I hate to be too inquisitive, but if you don't know what a landscape is, is there a chance you've been recording all these video diaries with the landscape still on? Um, maybe? I mean, I don't know. The world is a pretty strange place, and anything can happen. So that's why nobody has been watching our diary. It's just been a black screen all this time. Oh, my tree, all these years of documenting reduced to shavings. Ha! Oh, this is terrible. Mm, I don't feel bad. Bubble, how can you not feel bad? Three years of our work has just vanished in an instant. Well, I'm so used to my entire life disappearing in an instant that it doesn't really affect me anymore. Rice, what the corkboard are you doing? Isn't it pretty clear, Ben? I figured it out yourself. Uh, nothing's poking out at me. Do you see what I have to deal with? This is the last try. All the others have either rotten away, gotten burned by fiery, or eaten by children. So if I want to stay alive in this hostile yoil environment, which I kinda wanna do, then I'd better get to work on growing potatoes. Ooh, so you're gardening. How cute! <laughs> Whoa! Bobby, what are you doing here? I haven't heard you say anything in a long time. How many lines do you have in this episode again? Two! Huh. I need help loosening the soil, and this hoe isn't even really helping. Do you think you can help me out a bit? What? Fries? What do you mean? Oh, you know... Diary followers have no idea what's happened to us in the last three years. Oh, Royal, it's no big deal. Play hoy! They have no clue who was eliminated in BFDIA 6. What happened? Oh, I see. It was Puffball with 1,455 dislikes. Wait, Room B, where do you get those results? It's a secret. You'll never know. Oh, give me that. Ah, well, why don't you come and get it, Punch Punch? Let me stop it. This is dangerous. Na -na -na -na. Ah! Oh, hey, Fiery. Ruby, now you've done it. Whoa! Pull me off! Ah! Oh, right, not again. Okay, everybody, sprint down the oil and catch Pencil before she hits the ground! I'm going fast away! Ah! No, Ruby, you'll die! You're safe and sound with me, Pencil, but don't act so rowdy anymore. Seriously, it was all Ruby's fault. No, Ice Cube, you can't! It's too dangerous! Wow, that was selfless. Well, now we gotta recover Bubble and Ice Cube from the Hand Power Recovery Center. Don't forget Ruby! Wait, how did Ru- Ah, whatever, figures. Sorry for annoying you earlier, Fries, but I must say, I'm glad you're growing potatoes. I've missed their taste ever since we moved to Yo-Yo Land, since they don't grow here. Hold up, I thought potatoes couldn't grow here. Too little sun or something. I was thinking the same thing, but tennis ball. Oh, tennis ball. He developed this new strain called ground taters that can still grow with slightly less sun. He wants me to write these side effects, but at this point I'm desperate, so whatever. Ooh, grow taters? Sounds delicious. Oh, listen. Listen, I don't know what your point is, but these grow taters are not for eating, they're for me. Sorry, why is making friends so hard? Hey guys. Whoa, Pin, you lost your color too? Just like me. What are you talking about, Nickel? You've always been gray. Anyway, Golf Ball told me she could extract the red pigment from my body and reshape it into my new limbs, since they have the same chemical structure. Isn't Golf Ball the best? She always knows how to solve everything. I don't know how to solve like anything, so I'm glad we're finally going to be able to learn from other scientific endeavors. Hmm, 
Yeah, that sounds nice, but who are these others again? And how do you know whether this building really is what you think it is? Well, I think it's a science museum, because the sign says, Science Museum. And we're here now, let's go in. I really don't think this is necessary. It is. But there's so much science to do in the outside world. There is not. Why would you ever want to enter a dilapidated old building? To find science treasure. Stop right there, what do you think you're doing? Needy. Don't call me Needy. Needle, we're going to enter the Science Museum of Doyle City on our eternal quest to create innovation and creation. You just said create creation. Whatever it is, you can't do that. Why? Uh, it's secret, but it's because of free smart. Needle, why don't you just go slap a few strangers for me, tell you what they probably called you Needy behind your back. Come on, TB. I wonder what that was all about. Needle's been acting quite loopy lately. But look at this place, it's got treasure just waiting to be stolen. Uh, are you okay? Oh, my place where tennis balls are created! It's a wall teleporter! I've always heard about these things, but I never knew they were a reality! Yeah, see, aren't you glad you came here? Yes, I mean, now that I think about it, nobody's been in this building for years, so what's the big deal if I just borrow this for a bit? I've always wanted to know what it feels like to use this. Okay, let's see what's in this next room, over! Where are you, boss? You're on a punishment! Golf ball! Snap out of it! Jeez, that's the second weird episode you've had since we entered this building. Stay focused. No, no, we need to leave. Golf ball? We haven't even seen 10% of the gadgets yet. Listen, I don't know why, but we have to go now. That is the first time I've ever seen you make a decision irrationally. But if you insist. Hey, hey, what you got going on here? Trying to make friends with fries. He's throwing grotatoes. Ooh, grotatoes. TV told me those things are gonna taste delicious! I sure hope so. I'll be the first to eat one. In fact, I'll try one right now. Pointy, they barely begun crawling. You need to be 20 times more patient. Shish, you need to calm down. Take a deep breath. You know, a deep fried breath. Oh, my tater. Hey, Pencil, now that we've gotten fiery punished and all... Do you think we should focus our efforts on bringing Match back from the TLC? Eh, uh, maybe. Aren't you best friends? I thought you'd be a little more eager to see her again. I mean, we're doing just fine without her, aren't we? Match was a little too needy. <laughs> anyway. Really? You never told me Match was needy. <sighs> Before. Oh yeah, Match was over the top. Crazy, make you question your faith in Pennsylvania. Needy. But that's in the past. Let's just recover Bubble or Ruby and Ice Cube now. <laughs> So, Bin, it's been about six months. How do your new limbs feel? Still a little tingly, but getting better. Hey, coin creature, guess what I got? It's a wall teleporter. Wow, that is so cool. My absolute favorite thing in the whole world. Also, what's a wall teleporter? Well, according to the instructions on the back, it can teleport anybody through a wall of up to six inches in width. But it can only teleport one person at a time. Pretty amazing technology, if you ask me. Hey, the tiny loser chamber's walls are five inches thick. Now, that is one lucky coincidence. We can Finally free Mubbeloys, SB Pen, and Blocky, and we can also free Eraser too. Oh, that's a good idea. But the tiny loser chamber is also inside the locker of losers, which adds another five inches of metal wall. Actually, on the second page of instructions, there's Ultra Power Mode, which allows you to teleport through walls of up to 12 inches. But it'll take several weeks to charge up for such an extreme energy usage. Well, that's not too bad. Those 40 or so guys have been waiting to be freed for three to four years. A few extra weeks can't hurt them. Oh yeah, you're right. Guys, let's head over to the LOL now. Fries, do you want to come with us? It'll be fun. That's why I'm pretty busy right now. These crotatoes need to end up perfect. Okay, so the plan is to shoot this thing of a doodle into the tiny loser chamber to pull somebody out. Wait a month or two, and then repeat the process. Sound good? Yeah. But how do we choose who to save first? Well, obviously you bring Snowball out first. He's a great guy, and he doesn't deserve to be in that prison any longer. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? If anything, Snowball deserves to be in the locker of losers forever! I think we should extract Robati, because Golf Ball told me Robati's red tint could be used to recolor me. No, according to my calculations, Barfrag would be the best guy to get back. Then, we could finally contain Rocky's vomit. <laughs> 
Do you have trouble deciding who to save from the tiny loser, Chafer? If so, then buy our, I mean, let the viewers vote. That's right. If you're watching this video, then leave a comment saying who you want to come back. The person with the most votes gets to come back into the show. Hey, viewers, since I am an IDFB Tips and Tricks guidebook, I might as well put in my two cents. Put me down! If you want to recommend a character or discuss anything about this episode, go to the links in the description. This season, there's going to be so many opportunities for recommended characters to actually join the show. Like me! Yes, Ruby, like you. So go check it out! Hey fries, I bought some boiling frying oil so we can finally do some deep fried breaths. Please tell me you're not actually doing this. Okay, so we breathe and then we deep fry it. Ready? I'm not participating. <gasps> One. Ah! Do I need to say that? Three. Ah! Do I need to say that?